Hi everybody, Cher here with you. Welcome back to my channel. So today is my birthday and um, I've just been kind of sitting here all by myself. Uh, all my friends are working today. My boyfriend's at work, Megan's at school, and I was kind of feeling a little bit lonely and sorry for myself. So I thought I would just pop on here because I thought, you know what, there's no need to be lonely because I have all my YouTube friends and family right here. So. I just wanted to hang out with you for a little bit today. I have lots of kind of cool things I just want to share with you. It's not really, I'm not going to call this a vlog because I don't really do that, but it's more of a chitty chat. Um, I have, like I said, I've got a few different things that I just wanted to share with you. The first being, um, I got a package yesterday. Look at this adorable owl on the back. Oh my gosh. So this came from my awesome friend, Sandy. Sandy, you didn't need to do that. Oh my gosh, the poor woman has been so sick this whole winter. She's barely left the house. So the fact that you did this for me, my friend, oh my gosh, I just, thank you. Um, Sandy does have her own channel. It's called the Thrifty, I better make sure I get this right, the Thrifty Gamma. And you know what? She really is the coolest grandma I know. She's got these adorable, two little adorable um, granddaughters. They're so stinking cute. Um, and she spends a lot of time with them and they, yeah, yeah, they are two lucky little girls to have her, let me tell you. And I'm very lucky and fortunate to have her as a friend as well. Um, her and I become very good friends. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited to see what you sent here, girly. Um, so I'm gonna get into that. And then I also have I went shopping actually yesterday. Um, we have had just the most amazing weather, um, except for last night, I, I woke up this morning to snow. We have not had any snow, hardly at all this winter. We got, we didn't have, we had a green Christmas, <laughs> which was really bizarre. And uh, yeah, so we got about, I don't know, that much snow last night. So I got snow for my birthday. So that was kind of cool. It's definitely nice and white and clean and crisp looking out there. Um, but yeah, it's, the roads have been so good. So yesterday, uh, it was beautiful, sunny, warmish, and uh, I must say, I feel really bad for a lot of our, you know, neighboring provinces. I know you guys are not faring so well. It's been bitterly cold and lots of snow and ice and oh my gosh, I can't imagine. So I feel, really feel for you guys and I can't complain about the little bit of snow we got last night, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I was out and about yesterday and I went to Walmart. So I've got a few things I want to share with you that I found there and give you a couple of heads up because I think some of you will want to know what I saw at my Walmart. And then I went to the mall and I wasn't really looking or planning on shopping for clothes, but it was one of those days, I'm sure you guys have had those days too, where you go and everything you tried on fit and everything like was on sale and you liked it and you just scored everywhere you went. Well, that's the kind of day I had yesterday. Normally I, I hate shopping for clothes because I just get frustrated and mad at myself and <laughs> feel bad about myself. So anyway, I had a really good clothes shopping day yesterday. So I thought I'd show you kind of what I got my hands on that there. And um, because some of you will probably have some of those same stores and there are some really good buys right now to be found. And my mall was so quiet and like I went into these stores, I was basically the only person in them. I had, you know, the whole change area to myself. <laughs> and, you know, all the uh, cashiers, they were like, you know, running after, you know, can I get you a different size? Can I help you? It was just awesome. I had a really good day yesterday. So I want to share those with you as well. And yeah, so I'm just going to get started by opening this package. It's killing me. So I came prepared with a little knife here. Sandy has taped this thing very well. It arrived like totally perfect. So I'm just going to pause you guys for a minute and I'm going to get into this package and then I'll show you what's in it. So I finally made it through all the tape and I have gotten down to the box here. Oh wow. What have you got going on here? All kinds of goodies. Okay. I see a card. So I'm going to grab the card here first. And she's got the little owl theme going on here still. She knows I love my little owls. They're so cute. All right. Oh, I love the card. Love it, love it, love it. How perfect is that? Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Oh, look at that. It's even got like little, little straws here. That is so cute. Aww. Aww. I treasure your friendship too, very much. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's dive into this. Other cool thing I'm going to share with you guys today is not only is it my birthday today, but I share a birthday with one of my sisters. So I was born on her 11th birthday. 
I doubt back then she was very excited to have a baby sister on her birthday, but um, it's kind of cool to share that with her. And not that we've gotten to actually celebrate very many years together, but we have uh, a handful of times for sure. But we live, you know, all my sisters and I, we live quite far apart, which is kind of hard on days like today, um, being so far away from my family. But um, thank goodness for, you know, YouTube and uh, Skype and FaceTime and all that kind of stuff. We actually chatted with all of them last night. So that was, that was really cool. So I'm going to get into this package. Oh my gosh. I'll just take everything out of here. Okay. Sometimes Sandy sends me things and she numbers them as to which one I'm supposed to open first, but I don't see any numbers. So I'm just, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> All right. So the first thing I see here are some Halloween lights, purple Halloween lights. Love those. I have got such a selection of lights now. I love it i always know where to i can always get a light if i need one and i've got all different colors now which is amazing oh this is adorable you know who's going to try to steal that from me but i'm not going to let her that is so cute Aww. and what have we got here um, a lemon face mask definitely treat myself to that we are going out for dinner tonight so uh yeah, I'm excited for that. I think we're going to go to Boston Pizza. And this one, what do we got here? Vitamin E Skin Brightening. Oh, that sounds interesting. During the winter, I need, I can get, you know, I need all the help I can get, basically. <laughs> My face gets so, so dry. Oh, these are cute. Little dragonfly, little, little clips. Okay, and then we've got a little draw bag here. Let's see what's in here. So I hope you guys are all having a good day, whatever it is you're planning on doing. I'm so lucky I didn't have to work today. I know I don't normally work um, Tuesdays. It's my regular day off anyways. So, but I'm kind of like, I'm just missing all my friends and coworkers. And it's just one of those days. You know, yesterday was blue Monday. I shouldn't be blue today. I really shouldn't. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm in. Okay. Oh, what have we here? Cool. So you can change. Okay. So this, look at this little, it's like a little pendant here. And these looks like here, you can put these different little colors in behind here and change up the colors for the background. And then there's, I'll have to get into this a little better to find exactly what this is, but I like it already. I love the butterfly. Oh my gosh. That is really pretty. Oh, here. <laughs> uh, Oh, okay, now I know what it is. Good thing you put a little card in here. So she's giving me instructions. It says, here's an essential oil diffuser for your car. Yay! Clips into the vent. Um, place felt circles with a few drops of the oil on it. Oh my gosh, okay. This is awesome because you know what? When I got my car, whoever had it before me, um, obviously smoked in there. And you know how hard it is to get that smell out? So now I can use some of my essential oils and make my car smell a little better. And the oil that I'm really, really loving right now is the one I just got here not too long ago. It's like a black licorice. I've been diffusing it in the kitchen here and oh my gosh, it smells so good. So I'm gonna put that in my car. <laughs> Can't wait, that's gonna make it smell so much better in there. Okay, so now we got another one here. I'm just gonna open up this little package. I hope you're feeling better, Sandy. I, I um, yeah, I've been just feeling so bad for you can't do the things that you want to do and or feel like you can do the things you want to do. What if we go oh, brown sugar saver? You know me and my brown sugar. Oh my gosh. I have one of these in my main brown sugar, but I don't have one of these for the one that we use every day. Of course, we're opening it all the time and it does get hard. So this is awesome. Thank you. Oh, look at that. It's got, it almost looks like the, the little smiley face has braces on them. <laughs> Super cute. Okay, we got another package here. Boy, you spoiled me, girl. Oh, I think I know what this is just by the shape of it. And you know what? I was looking in my Dollar Tree just yesterday trying to find these. Because I know you, I saw that you hauled a bunch more of these. <laughs> I'm hoping that's what it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I saw Sandy make some fairy gardens with these uh, over the Christmas holidays. She found these in Dollar Tree. I assume, are they in the candy section? Is that where you got these? So yeah, 
there's candies in here, so I'm, I'm guessing there are. So you get little fence pieces, you get, I think like there's a little animal in each one of these and they're all different. It's a surprise, pet surprise, and they are so cute, like in a little fairy garden. So thank you for sharing these with me. I have not been able to find these and I can't wait to do something with those. Aww. Okay, let's see, what have we got in this one? She says here, happy birthday to my sweet friend. Aww. You are the one that's sweet. I don't know how I got so lucky. Oh my goodness. What have we got here? If this is what's in this, I'm, I'm excited already. So Woodland Garden Kit. I'm just going to peek in here. Good thing I brought my little knife. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at all these cute little pieces. So there's a little bridge. And oh my god, look at the hedgehog. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, you know me so well. And then it's got these little little wooden rounds that you could make. Oh, you can make all kinds of things out of those. Okay, what else have we got here? And it comes with little stones. Oh my gosh, I won't take the rest out. Oh, actually, maybe I will. Look at that. So there's little signs. Snail Trail, Gnome Bridge, and Critter Cove. Oh, how cute are those? And there's another little bag of rocks. This is a really cute little kit. Um, and I do have something to show you kind of along these lines that I found at Walmart. So hang in there a little bit longer through this video because I am going to get to that. This is a really cute little kit. So you also get some little mushrooms. So this is everything that's in here. That is really cool. I have never seen one of these little kits before. Oh my gosh, I love this little hedgehog. That is adorable. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, and there's still more here. Okay, let me see. Where did I get? To? Where did I leave off? Okay, last one. Look at this presentation on this. Oh, I'm going to definitely make sure I hang on to that. I'll be able to use this for something else. Okay. What have you got here? goodness oh. oh my gosh look at these okay these are really thick socks so they've got little grippy things on the back on the bottom here so you don't slip and slide on your on your hardwood floors and look at their little owls oh my god oh these are gonna keep me so nice and warm oh and they're really really super soft inside look at this oh my gosh Love those. Thank you so, so much. Oh my gosh, Sandy. Girl, oh, I thank you. You are so sweet. Anyways, um, I do have one more thing that I wanted to share with you. And I'm going to post um, Sandy's link for her channel in my description box. Go on over and check out her channel. She really is just the coolest lady you will ever meet. She cracks me up every time she puts on a video. She, oh my gosh, she is just so funny, so down to earth, and I just love her to bits. So again, thank you so much, Sandy, for your thoughtfulness and your kindness and your friendship. Now, the other friend that I have, her name is uh, Pink Flamingo. I always know when there's something in the mailbox from her because she always puts a flamingo or something. I just, I know it's from her. It's always so cute. And of course, she's got this all decked out with cupcakes because she knows I love cupcakes. And um, I wanted to share this with you. I already opened it, but I wanted to share this with you. Look at this beautiful handmade card she made me, the cupcake. And then on the back, it says here, handmade with love. I love getting homemade things. It just, I, I know that it just, you know, all the time and effort that it goes into that kind of stuff and it just means so much to me. And of course, she also put a little pink flamingo here. <laughs> so cute. So thank you so much for that. That really made my day as well. You guys, you know, I just, I am so thankful for all of you, you know, between your comments that you always leave on my channel, uh, on my videos, and, you know, some of you that reach out to me with emails and share pictures and things with me, I just, it means a lot to me. And um, like I say, I don't have family that lives here or nearby, they're hours and hours away, and I don't have a ton of friends here either. It's a hard place to kind of meet people, um, but I am fortunate to have some really, the few that I do have are really close friends, and I'm really happy and glad that I have those, but, 
you know what, sometimes I do get lonely and sometimes I do get homesick and miss my family and then I just, but you know, I have all of you guys and it's that, that has really made the world a difference. I just, um, I am so blessed and so fortunate to have you guys and I wanna thank you all for your support and love and kindness. So the next thing I'm gonna chat with you about is my little shopping trip to Walmart yesterday. So while I was at Walmart, I did need a few grocery items, but um, I discovered, and I don't know if you guys have discovered this yet or not, I don't go to Walmart very often because it's on the other end of town for me. And I'm kind of a save on more kind of girl anyway. That's, it's close to home. I like that store, it's small. I know where everything is. And I, that's just where I shop. And I like to, I always, um, compare prices in the flyers and if there's something on sale somewhere else I just bring that flyer in and they match it it's not a big deal so I am not a huge lover of Walmart anyways but I do go there on occasion and I like to just you know wander around and see what I can find there and sometimes I get lucky and I did get lucky there um, yesterday so I'll fill you in with what I found but while I was there I needed some groceries so I went to go get milk and half and half and what else I guess sour cream and different things and I discovered that my Walmart no longer has any kind of Dairyland products in their cooler departments everything now is Lucerne and I'm not a fan of Lucerne I've tried it before I don't like the taste of the milk I don't like the taste of any of that stuff it just I guess once you're used to one thing it's there definitely is a difference so I chatted with a fella that was actually stocking the cooler and I said so when did this happen? <laughs> like, when did you no longer start, you know, stop carrying Dairyland? And he said that I guess it was around the end of November. And I don't know if it's just BC. I don't know if it's all of Canada. But yeah, um, Walmart is no longer carrying Dairyland products, which really made me sad because I really have no reason to go over there, <laughs> you know, other than just, you know, the odd, you know, seasonal item or other stuff, you know, sometimes I go for, but let me know in the comments below if you guys have noticed that yourself or if that's news to you as well. So check out your next time you go to your Walmart in Canada, if you're living in Canada and let me know because yeah, I was really surprised. And actually when I went to go pay, I mentioned it to the cashier and she said, you know, at the bottom of your receipt, there's an email there that you can um, not lodge complaints, but I well, I guess you could do that too, but you know, your concerns or your questions or she goes, email them and tell them your concern and tell them you're not happy about the switch and all that. They need to know that kind of stuff, right? So I think I'm going to actually, <laughs> not that my comments are gonna make any difference, but you know what, I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels that way. Anyway, I digress. So I went and I looked at the seasonal department because I noticed that they were getting a bunch of their um, spring stuff out, which I still is, seems kind of early to me at the beginning of January, but whatever. Um, and I noticed that they had a bunch of their fairy garden kits already on the shelf. So I wanted to share with you guys, this is one that I bought last, last spring. And I didn't see this particular one there, but they are exactly the same. Uh, I assume you get probably the same, like one, two, three, four or five pieces, but they didn't have this one at my store. And I love this one. It's so cute. And I got it mainly for the little bunny. She's so cute. And she even has little wings. I'm sorry. The glare in here is terrible. Let me spin it around because on the back, there's a little picture of all the pieces that come in the kit. And I just wanted to share that with you because these go really, really fast. And for any of you that are, you know, sitting on the fence, whether you want to get into fairy gardening or not, or don't know where to start, this is a great way to start because for $20, that's how much the kits are, they're 19 something. So $20, you get all the pieces, they all kind of go together and yeah, it's just a great little kit. It really is to get you started. Now I noticed that there were two fairy related ones and two gnome related ones. So, and they were really cute. Now come with a little house. Um, the gnome ones came with like a little picnic table and the other one I think came with a little table. They were really, really cute. I didn't buy any, like I, said, I got this one last year and I haven't done anything with it yet. I'm still kind of thinking I might just hang on to it. These would make amazing gifts if you had, you know, one of your kids were going to a birthday party or something. I mean, what little girl wouldn't want to get this as a birthday present? I just think, I know I would. <laughs> I kind of bought this for me, I think, really. But I kind of bought it for the bunny. I just thought the bunny was so cute with the little, little wings. But I wanted to just put that out there. Like I said, they're gonna go fast. So if you're looking or sitting on the fence for some of those kinds of things, go to your Walmart and check them out because that is a really great price for that, for those many, that many pieces. 
Um, I mean, if you go to Michael's, you're never going to get a house and all those pieces for $20. Like you're just not going to. So I think that's a really good deal and a really good find. So that's my little tip for the fairy garden stuff. And now the other thing that I managed to find, I was kind of wandering around the clothing section. I noticed they had a lot of sales on, but I didn't really find anything in any of those areas. But I discovered for the first time in my life, jeggings. <laughs> I don't know where I've been and why I have not discovered. I mean, I wear leggings all the time, like, you know, tights kind of. And I hate jeans because I just find the, the button and the fly and the zipper and everything. When you sit down, it kind of digs in and oh, they're just not comfortable. And I, I wear leggings all the time, but I've never heard of jeggings before. So I'm sure most of you are going, oh, Cher, where have you been? I've had my head in the sand, obviously. So I picked up two pairs of these jeggings and they're so comfortable. Oh my gosh, if you guys have not ever tried them before, go try them. They're just, they're the best things, I tell you. So they look like jeans and, um, but they're really stretchy. And yeah, and the length actually was really good for me too. And I'm not overly tall. I'm about 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five with a little bit of a heel. And the length was perfect. And they look so good because they are tapered all the way down. They look amazing with like high, like dress boots. And um, I am gonna insert some pictures because I bought some other clothes at the mall that I kind of wanted to share with you too because in case you guys have some of these stores and you wanna get on some of these deals. And I did take some pictures Please be nice because I am, I'm horrible at trying to take pictures in mirrors and lighting and stuff in my bathroom. It's terrible. The pictures are not the best, but I did want to show you because some of these things are really cute and they, they actually, all of these pieces that I bought all go together so well. So I just want to show you these and I want to let you in on how much they were. So, okay, I got these dark blue ones. My store was kind of picked over as far as the size that I needed. So I, there wasn't a lot of selection for me. But I did find these ones now. I don't know if you're going to be able to see or not. These are like a camouflage. Yeah, the lighting is really bad in here. But I think in the pictures that I got um, that I'm going to insert here in a little bit, I think you'll be able to tell a little bit better. But they're like a, like that dark brown with a little bit of black and I don't know. They're like camel. <laughs> and I never imagined that I would ever even gravitate to something like that. But because they are dark, they look really good with black boots. And uh, yeah, they're so comfortable. So this, this was a Jordache brand. Um, and you can tell they are better quality for sure than the other pair that I got, which were the George brand. And there's a little difference in price too. So the George brand was $19.97 and the Jordache were $24.98. And I think these are well worth the extra few dollars because yeah, the quality is definitely better. They're thicker. And you can just tell the material's a better material, but I love them both. And they go so well with, you know, sweaters or dress shirts or whatever, which you're going to see in the pictures that I'm going to show you here in a few minutes. So these next few items I'm going to share with you are from two stores uh, in my local mall. So I went to Eclipse and I went to Ardeen's. And like I said, the mall was so quiet. There was really not a whole lot of shoppers even in there. So it was, I felt like I had the whole mall to myself. It was crazy. So this first top I'm going to show you is this really super soft sweater that I got from Eclipse. I have gotten lucky there in the past um, and their clothes, like they're good quality. They wash up really, really well and they last for a long time. I had a shirt there that I wear all the time. I think I bought it like three years ago and I love it. And this one, you know, this isn't usually a color that I would be like, you know, attracted to this yellowy mustardy kind of color, but because it's not near my face, it actually, I really like it actually. And it looks really good again with black leggings or jeans and boots. And it's so, so soft. So I'm going to insert a picture of what this looked like with the, uh, with the jeans that I got from Walmart. So the other sweater that I got at Eclipse is this one. And I just thought the pattern on this was so pretty. It really caught my eye. And the sides are kind of like a, a brownie kind of color. So I have a brown pair of boots actually that matched really, really well with this. And again, it looked really good with the dark, either jeans or leggings. And yeah, I really, really like this sweater as well. It's super soft and really comfortable.
So both of the sweaters were $39.99 and uh, they were on sale. One of them I got for $29.99, so $10 off, and the other one was $15.99. So for two really nice sweaters, they came to $51.50. So I thought that was a pretty good deal for two nice pieces to put in my wardrobe. So the next store that I went into was Ardeen's. Now that's a store that Megan loves. That They've got so many cool things. And it's definitely a teeny bopper store for sure. Um, but I just thought, you know what the heck, I'll just take a quick gander through here. I thought I was kind of looking more so along the lines for something for Megan. Um, they had a huge wall that was all 50% off. And of course they had, it was stuffed, jam packed. But I kind of, you know, just kind of poked around in there. And I came out with some really nice things. So the first thing I found was this little hoodie here oh my gosh it is so soft this material here it feels almost like silk it is so so soft and then it's got kind of the fleece here for the sleeves and of course it also has a hood and i just love the plaid i think it's so pretty and it's so trendy right now as well so i got this one and then i also got this one, it's exactly the same, except just different pattern. And again, it's got the same really nice soft material and it's the same on the back too. It is so nice. Um, so these shirts were originally $24.90 and they were both half price. So I got them for uh, $12.45. $12 Pretty good deal. So I'm gonna insert pictures of what these looked like as well. So the last thing I found at Ardeen's was this little piece here. Now they're calling this a mock tunic popover. So it's really long and it's kind of that silky, soft, flimsy material. And I thought it caught my eye because it has these really cute little three quarter length sleeves with this little tie here. And it also came with a little belt as well that you tie around your waist. Now this isn't something that I normally would be attracted to as far as like trying on but I was in one of those moods yesterday that was like oh what the heck I got nothing better to do so let's let's try it on so I did and you know what? I really really liked it and again it looks awesome with uh, leggings and boots So like I said, I don't take the best mirror shot pictures, but I think you can kind of get the idea. Um, like some of those things really do work really well together and I'm really excited to have some new outfit choices. I just have been such in such a rut lately. I just keep wearing the same old, same old things. And you know what? Yes, I want to lose a few pounds. Yes, I need to lose a few pounds, but at least now I have some things that I know I feel good in and I look okay and yeah, so you know what? I think it's important that we do that for ourselves sometimes and I'm so glad that I did because tonight when we go for dinner, I actually have something decent to wear. So I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. Um, that's basically all that I have to share with you guys today. And uh, again, thanks just for bearing with me, hanging out with me on my birthday. It really, really does mean a lot to me. So until next time, I'm gonna leave you with a little clip of some flowers that I picked up here recently. You probably can guess what I'm hoping to do with those very soon. So until next time, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now, everybody.